All right, we're gonna go and have some fun with Papyrus in his room. <laughs> yes, we all. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go and do whatever people do when they date. Hmm, yes. Go inside. Yes. Hmm. I like this. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Huh. Santa Claus is awesome. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Meh. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. The next book's... The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Complex manuals and children's books. What's here? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Indeed. That's my bed. If I ever get to if I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns on goofy in on a goofy point. The computer's internet browser is opened up to social media site. Hmm. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Yes. I like the rug. The rug is the most badass thing about this room. Alright, let's do this. Let's get in the bed. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay. Dating start. Oh. Date. Dating. It's like a battle system. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can spell prepared without several letters from my name. Or you can't spell it. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hub. Wowie. I feel so informed. Crime? What is this crime population? Reel it in. The sun. I see a dog radar. An egg and a crime radar. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Him. Human. I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. Oh, it could it no, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. Yes I have, Papyrus. This entire time. It started with Napster Bluke, but then I met you. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. N no, your dating power. Take that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. Tension's getting hot. We're getting some hot tension now. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. 
In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. <laughs> it looks like skeletal Will Smith. Cool, dude. Nah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. I love it. No. A genuine compliment. Nah. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. So move and inspect the scene. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. What about pants? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of all shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. It's in the hat. The secret's in the hat. My hat? M my hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. He has a present for me. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. I'm gonna open it. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna... It's... Is that a brain? Do you know what it is? Uh, yes, I do know what it is. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? No, it looks like a brain. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any old plain... This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflex reflexively... Reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And my... and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! No! No! Yeah, take my long blue rod in your face. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um, boy, uh, isn't it hot in here? Is it hot in here, or is it just me? No, uh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. Did I just get rejected? I just feel the same as before. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion. I love how his hat is just floating. It's just floating there like a Buddhist monk. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. And hey, Someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Damn. I just got fucking rejected by Papyrus. of all people to get rejected by Papyrus. Get the fuck out of this house. <laughs>